I make it F0. F0. Let me put F0. Let me see it in binary. What do you get? 11110000. So, can you guess the output here? It would be 1111. The remaining bits would be 000. Um, I think you got the point. Uh, what if you want to make uh, RB7 and RB6 go high? Let's check it out here. It's 11000000. Let's convert it into hex. It's C0. So if you put C0 here, only uh, RB7 and RB6 would glow. But my objective is to make uh, all the LEDs glow. So it will be FF. Then I have to give a delay time. Uh, it has to maintain uh, uh, FF state for some time uh, for uh, the human eye to not notice. Delay and uh, this ID has a cool, cool feature called auto code or auto suggestion. Just press control and space button. Uh, you will see the code assistant. There you can go and select your function. Delay underscore ms. I am going to uh, delay this operation for about 500 millisecond. That's about uh, that's exactly half a second. And uh, port B uh, and again I'm making the port B go low 0x00. Again maintaining that low state for another 500 millisecond. I'll just uh, copy paste. There you go. The first program. Trace B would be making port B output. I'll just comment. For a reference, it would be high. Yes, and uh, make port be low. Make port below and uh, just copy paste again. All right, now code is done. Uh, now let's see how to compile the code or build the code. Uh, the button that you see here, two gears meshing. Uh, this you can either click this or go to project build. Uh, for easy use, we'll use this button. The code is built. Here is a messages window. You will see the code has compiled successfully. Now let me uh, minimize all these things. Now let's go to the micro C folder and see what's inside it. See, you see a lot of files generated. Um, some important file that you would like to use is the ASM file and hex file. Uh, let me drag and drop uh, both of these inside my editor. There you go, the ASM file. Let me explain you what the compiler does. Whatever you write in C, uh, it compiles it and converts it into assembly code, and from there it generates X code. This is the machine readable code actually. Pick microcontroller understands only this and not this. Your compiler makes your job easy of generating uh, of uh, generating the hex code by itself, so you don't have to write assembly code, write generate hex files, and program it makes the job so easy for you all right now uh, let's sim the code uh, and see what happens <coughs> file let's load the program LED blinking just go to the location where it is located be LED blinking and LED blinking open and uh, simulation you can start and stop simulation here you can uh, control the rate step by step and uh, see what's going on in the registers you can uh, select a slow normal fast extremely fast ultimate and uh, the tools you have lots of options you can simulate a night cross l uh, 8 led board keypad matrix yeah, lots of things pc serial port terminal also you have oscilloscope yeah go to rate extremely fast We'll start the simulation. 
What you see here is all the port has gone high, but why it is not going low? The problem here is uh, the simulator is uh, pretty slow, and also uh, it doesn't understand the uh, user defined functions that you gave here. For example, delay underscore ms is uh, an user defined function. Uh, we are giving the delay. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, want the LED to blink, you have to rather use the delays that is inbuilt uh, in the compiler. So press D, control space, all the things that you see here, delay underscore 1 US and uh, the rest up to 1 second. These are the inbuilt delays. But uh, if you use inbuilt delays in the real world code, it would uh, it will have some problems uh, working. So better use the user defined delays uh, while, while in the real world and the inbuilt delays while simulating the program. Let me repeat that again. Use the user defined delays in the real world. That is uh, what the code that you burn into the microcontroller and the inbuilt delays while programming. So let me compile it again. Successful. Go to simulator ID, simulation, you stop it and you clear the memory. Go to load, LED blinking, open, simulation, start. There you go, there you go, you see will uh, make it a little slower that is fast as in fast is extremely fast and we made it fast you see the LEDs blink high and low will make it normal so that uh, you could see it uh, normally so let me try I'm, uh, I'm I'll make uh, RB7 and RB6 go high and low. The rest of the pin will remain uh, uh, switched off. Let me go to the calculator and then uh, this is a binary. This is double one double zero. Let me make it. Press B equal to zero x zero zero and uh, port B equal to C zero. Let me compile it. It's being compiled. Let me go to the simulator stop it clear the memory load the program simulation start there you see you see only RB7 and RB6 blink so that's all folks uh, the your very first introduction to the world of big microcontrollers uh, we will see other functions in the upcoming tutorials uh, thank you for listening this is Arun Vijay for Robotic Systems signing off bye